here you're able to search by type of book. So if you want an audio book or you wanted a Kindle book or you wanted a, an EPUB book, you have those choices. Great. Uh, for the sake of showing you how this is done, the easiest way to go would be to go to Recently Returned. So when you look at these books, uh, on our site we have, it shows you the formats that the book is available for. So let's say we're interested in Magnificent Folly. We see that there is a copy available uh, for Kindle. So we would highlight that with our mouse and we'd say add to cart. So now it's on our cart. So if that's the book we want, then we can say proceed to checkout. And then you have to select the library. Now we're the Portage Lake District Library. So you select that. Then they need your card and your PIN. So I have my card with me. So I enter my card number. I enter my PIN. And now the book is checked out to me when I hit confirm checkout. So I'm all set to get it now. I want to get it for my Kindle because I have my Kindle with me. So we have to go to the Amazon website. Oh. Then on Amazon, you can are all yes. the books under Amazon? All the Kindle books are because yeah. the way the Kindle library works is Kindle reserves for us one copy of each of the books that we have available. Okay. So it's like having you know, a library, only it's virtual. So we sign into Amazon. I've signed it. Now I'm ready to get it. And I can have it delivered to my Kindle. And I say get library book. Now it's available for me to download to my Kindle. And in fact, my Kindle, because I had it already set up wirelessly, there it is. It goes ahead and will download it automatically to my Kindle. Oh, okay. Then if you have a Mac, iMac, I mean iPad, what? Uh, with your iPad, it will work the same way. You'll have your uh, Kindle app open, yeah. and you tell it to sync, and it will sync automatically if you've got the Wi-Fi hooked up or you got your 3G network going. Um, it will automatically download it to your Kindle or to your Kindle app on your iPad. On iPad. Okay. Yes, uh, you will have the book for two weeks. And uh, you, know, you can it, it reads like any other Kindle book. Mm. And near the end of the two weeks, you will receive an email stating that the time your time is almost up. And then at the end of the two weeks, the, uh, the next time that you sync your Kindle, the book will be removed from your uh, your normal. Uh, your normal home menu, and it will be put into the archived items where you can then delete it off the machine. When it's in the archived items, you can't open it because you don't have access to it anymore. Mm -hmm. so. so when you say sync to your, is there a procedure for that? Yes. Um, you can either have it, you can either use a cord and plug it into your computer, and you can sync that way. Or if you have uh, the Wi-Fi, if you have your Wi-Fi up or your 3G up, mm -hmm. uh, then you can sync that way. And you know all that is in a Kindle is. Uh, is it something that's sync? Right, oh, sync and check for items. Yeah. It's right in your menu. Okay. 
So you can do that if it didn't automatically download for you. So looks easy enough. It's pretty straightforward. There are a lot of steps. Yeah. But it is actually a very easy thing to do.